it's a beautiful day and the birds are buzzing and the bees are singing and it's Draco got that kickback when I blow that They all do track, they don't shoot back One shot, close range, grab that head tie Yeah, I did that, yeah, I lived that Call up Uber with my shooter with a So, hi guys I'm back at you with another video And today I will be doing another DIY video for you guys And this video is going to be like a jean transformation video and I've been wanting to do this for a while now, but I really never had time. So today is a bright and shiny Saturday morning. And I got up early just to shoot this video for you guys. And as you can see or kind of tell, I'm outside because the birds are chirping and the bees, they buzzing. So yeah, so let's just get into this video. So the first thing you're going to need to do is figure out where you want your ruffles to sit it. So I wanted my ruffles to sit like right up under my calf muscle, like an inch up under my calf muscle. So that's where I made my measurement it. And I think it turned out to be 11 inches, but you're going to need to make your own measurement because we all have different size legs. So, yeah, you're going to have to make your own measurement. And then you're going to need that measurement for later. So, keep that number in mind. So, first, we're going to need to do a little math. So, radius equals circumference over 2 pi. So, that's the formula I'm going to be using to figure out my pattern. So, with my measurements, it will be R equals 11 over 6 0.28 so then when I put that into my calculator that gives me 1.75 rounded to the nearest tenth will be 1.8 so that's how many inches our radius is going to be so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a random piece of copy paper and I'm going uh, to fold it in half and then I'm going to take my tape measure because I have no idea where my other tape measure is. So this is just going to have to do for now. So I put this at the corner of my paper. And I found 1.8. Which should be right there. So then I'm going to just keep going around. So I have me like a little semicircle. And blah 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 blah. And then I'm going to just eyeball it from there. Cause I really don't have the patience. Any of that. So that should be good enough. And I'm measuring like four inches from there. And I'ma just do the same thing and make a semicircle. So, ta-da, there I have a good enough pattern. So, now what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut this out. And then I'm going to trace this along my extra fabric. And I'm going to make eight identical pieces because you will need four pieces for each side to make two full circles. So, now I have four identical pieces. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew these good side to good side. And I will have a full side. So now I will finish sewing that up and attach it to each pant leg. And then I will sew that on to the place right up under my calf muscle where I measured it. So now I'm finished and I'm just going to cut off the excess. And save these for later. And uh, 
so da -da. they're basically finished. Right, guys this is the end result please like comment and subscribe bye